Okay, hey guys, I'm uh, here with uh, Nicole and Jake, and uh, we're hanging out on Lake Mead just outside of Vegas at a place called, do you know the campground here? Uh, Kingman Wash. Kingman Wash, yeah. So I guess we're actually in Arizona. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I wanted to, uh, we were hanging out and uh, what caught our interest was two things. One, they have a really cool cargo van and they also have a really, they have three really cool dogs, but one of them is a wolf or would you have to say legally wolf dog? Uh, wolf dog, yeah. Okay. 57% gray wolf. Okay, well, we're going to have this conversation more inside because it's windy. Yeah. So why don't you guys come in and show me your uh, abode? All right. This is our little, how many square feet is this? 112. 112 square feet little cargo trailer home. Okay, so um, 100 square feet is okay, but how long is it? Uh, seven, seven wide by 16 foot long. By 16 feet? Yeah, 16 okay. feet. Okay, yeah, there's, uh, now there's, you can either get a six foot, seven foot, or even eight foot trailers, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And are they uh, generally affordable? Yeah, I think this one cost me, I had a custom built for me. Mm -hmm. um, so I had, gosh, probably 7,000 total. Oh, okay. To have a custom built for me. You mean you bought it and 7,000 to have all the work done or just no. the insulation? So, um, so I called, contacted the manufacturer and they built it out for me and they charged me 7,000 and then I built it myself for another four or $5,000. Great, yeah. great. So we're in probably about 11,000. Mm -hmm. mm, and then we renovated it again. So when we met, <laughs> he had it a lot different than you see it now. And then we got married and we're like, okay, we have to, if we're gonna live in here, we need to renovate it, so. Okay, so total investment is $127,000. Yeah. Absolutely. No. <laughs> yeah, we're broke. Yeah. Now this used to be, or this is a toy hauler. Do you actually drop that back door? Yeah, we do. you do. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. We, um, sometimes we got to clean the dog, sh the dog bed, or clean our sheets, or maybe sometimes we'll even work out on the ramp. Uh huh. We'll work out, so we're not weighing on the rocks or pine needles and stuff. Great. Okay. Well, cool. Well, let's show us here. This is uh, a kitchen. No, this. What is your kitchen? This that's is your kitchen. kitchen. Area. And so you have a pump here, yeah. or. Electric pump? Yep, yep. Okay. Electric uh, DC pump that runs, that's wired directly into the 12 volt batteries. Okay. So we get regular sink water. Okay. From so. the, hot, the instant hot water heater. Okay. On, on demand? Mm -hmm. On demand. Great. And is that a dishwasher or a refrigerator? <laughs> refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, a, we pulled it out of another RV and just kind of oh. chucked it full of food. Great. And shopping yesterday, so we got a full fridge. Yeah, we did most of this on a budget too. So all of the cabinetry that you see mm -hmm. in here, we got from Habitat from for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so we got it all for really cheap, you know, 15, 20 bucks for each unit. Uh -huh. And then they're all different stains and finishes. So we ended up sanding them all down and painting them so that they match and then put handles on all of them so they look like they're a set. Yeah, that's helps. great. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're, we're going to stop here for a second while everybody's watching this, because I want you to share uh, what you guys do for a living on the road. And I, I've seen your blog or mm -hmm. your yeah, blog, not blog, but blog. Tell us a little bit about, you know, kind of in a nice elevator speech what you do and then we will put the link below to uh, any social media that that they mentioned. Go ahead. Sure. So I have my blog, livingtinywithawolf.com, and I've had that for about six months or so, so we're still working on it. <laughs> but um, we also have a lead gen business, mm -hmm. which basically uh, we work with appliance repair companies, electricians, and we provide them with calls, charge them per call. So basically we're like renting the website to them mm -hmm. and invoice them once a week. Yeah, it's kind of a mouthful. Okay. Yeah. You get on YouTube or wherever and just type in lead generation and you can learn all about the type of business we run. And how long have you guys have been on the road? Um, I started back in 2018. Okay. I bought the trailer in 2017 and I just threw a mattress in there in the trailer and um, took off. Great. And then I met my wife and we remodeled it. And then mm -hmm. we met just... in 2018 and got married in 2019 and have remodeled it. So, right. Yeah. Cool. March 2021. <laughs> yeah. All right. And here we are at the end of the counter. 
And what's on this end now? So we have our bed. Um, it's a full size bed. And then underneath it is a memory foam mattress for the dogs that we cut down to size. And then you'll see down there that we have storage for clothes, tools, extra bedding, anything you need in the little Bella girl sleeping. <laughs> and all three dogs love this kennel. They do, yeah. So it just lifts up. It's just a deconstructed kennel, mm -hmm. uh, dog kennel. So that way, I don't know. We just had a kennel that we weren't going to use. It's oh. nice that is it's down low because you know it'll stay cool in the summer. Mm -hmm. And they have a vent down there too, so it, yeah, the I see. air circulates. This is uh, close storage in here. So we've got mine up top. Jake's down below. Uh, uh -huh. We've got our bench here. Um, this is for like socks and undies down there. The bench pulls out, uh, so we have a place to work and eat. To work and eat. And then this is uh, food storage here. Okay. It's our little pantry. Great. And these are just RV windows? Yep. Uh-huh. Yep, we've got... In a Fantastic fan or a... What yeah, is that? Two Fantastic fans. Two Fantastic fans. Yeah. So. Oh, there you go. That's nice. And you then uh, Jake will show you the front yeah. of the trailer. So we heat our trailer with a, a Wave 6 propane heater. Okay. And we just keep it low. So the heat rises. Yeah. It's not like a buddy heater that blows you out. The the yeah. Wave series, and I'll put a link below really like uh, in my uh, uh, in the comments below on the Wave 6 heater. Those are really nice. I like them a lot. I had a Wave 3, but it wasn't, too, it wasn't big enough once it got down to single digits. Mm -hmm. So I got the Wave 6, and it keeps us nice and cozy when we're snowboarding, skiing in Colorado. So Cool. Okay, uh, and we're coming back here. Oh, you've got a split air conditioner, huh? Yeah, so uh, because we work from the road, uh, um, what I found out was a lot of RVs, they have the rooftop mounts and they're really loud when they're going and I wanted something quiet. So this is a 12,000 BTU mini split and it's really quiet. Oh, great. So and this is our power station. Uh, we've got our two batteries right here and then I got a 2300 watt power mm -hmm. inverter. Mm -hmm. What kind of batteries? Uh, these are just the uh, Renogy uh, 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries. Just the deep cycles? Okay, yeah. cool. So we have one, we have 600 watts of solar on the roof. Okay. So it really does a good job. Um, I do notice that when it is foggy and stuff, I do have to run a, uh, a generator. And right. And I just use a battery charge controller and right. to keep them topped off during those, more, those uh, cloudier cool. days. All right. So. This is our coat rack, mm -hmm. um, shoes, we keep all of our shoes, and then just more storage over his, in that corner. His and her shoes? <laughs> yeah. <You> got it. <laughs> so. Great. And then you have a coat rack. Is there a bathroom back here? Yeah. Let me turn on that light real all right. quick. Yeah. If you don't mind if I show this. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Okay. And you got your standard uh, porta potty. Yeah. Just porta potty. Made the shower myself. Oh, cool works really good and it drains dry right down there and you've got is this for your shower yeah so let me show you this is a really cool system so this is our this is our pump right here i'll just sit down right here uh-huh this is our pump yeah and then we feed all of our water through a five gallon bucket mm -hmm. and then it just goes into the bucket yeah. and goes straight into the into the hot water heater and then it either goes into the shower which you can control the shower uh -huh. like this valve right here right and then we also have a hose right under here that goes into the kitchen faucet oh so cool. i don't know much about plumbing so i kind of just made this on my that's a great thing about nomads we all figure it out we don't have to we, we figure yeah. out debate depending on how we live yeah it's yeah. great and this is just the switch and turn on and off the pump cool so, yeah very nice. And this is, uh, is this an out vent? Yeah, this is the out vent. Uh -huh. And uh, we usually don't have it on long enough to create too much carbon dioxide. And usually when it is on, we do have the um, fan going on exhaust oh, mode. Great. Overall, this is really nice. You've got plenty of walk around space. You've got chairs to sit in. Um, what, oh, I didn't ask you about your stove. How do you cook? Uh, sure. So this is our little stove top. Uh, it's a camp chef. Yeah. Um, so I just plug the propane in, and we've yeah. got two burners. So 
And it's wait. it's out of the way, so mm -hmm. you have plenty, except for when you're cooking, you have, that's great. You guys have a really nice Instagram page, some beautiful photos and really nice, and I really enjoyed that. And I've seen your blog and I looked at some of it. I haven't had time to look at it all. And again, I will put all the links below uh, for you guys yeah, to, to you check it out. Yeah, if you have any other questions about our cargo build or our lifestyle or our wolf dog, Mm -hmm. You can send me a message. Um, hey, that's a great segue to Wolf Dog. Yeah, so tell us about Cruz. So Cruz is a 57% gray wolf, and he's uh, two, two and a half years old. This is Gunner. Um, I got him in Florida. I contacted a bunch of breeders. They all turned me down because I live in this uh, car. I live in a cargo trailer, but eventually I found a lady who really liked me, so I was able to get Cruz. Um, it's been great having him. He is definitely not, um, it's not easy having a wolf dog compared to a regular dog. Very high, high maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, but he is very intelligent, very loving. He, he's got a big place in our heart. So, and we're with him 24 seven and he always gets to go hiking and running. And, yeah. So he's been, a, it's Cruz. <laughs> yeah. It's a so there's no laws that if somebody wanted and they'll they can contact you yeah. if to find out if or they can google it probably wolf dogs and, yeah. and find if they're really interested in one yeah so you can uh um, certain states do not or certain uh, cities don't allow you to or counties don't allow you to have wolf dogs like where my parents live i just found out in um, oklahoma i can't have a wolf dog at my parents house um, and you can't have a wolf dog in Wyoming. So there's definitely some restrictions there. Well, thanks again for you guys. And, and uh, let me squeeze in here. And as always, with all of the videos or anything like that, just follow those links and, and over there somewhere. And uh, subscribe, share, all of the things. Also, if you have any comments, um, I won't forward them on because you can reach them directly. But for our discussions and our uh, on our channel, um, go ahead and make any comments you have. If you own a trailer or you want one or you agree or dis dislike something here, or if you have other ideas, share those. Until then, we'll see you guys down the road.